I'm sitting here with Sherry McLean of Spectacular. Hi, Erin. How are you doing this morning? I am doing great. We, we well, I'm doing spectacular. That's spectacular <laughs> indeed. My first question would be, how did you get involved in your, your love for, for horses in, in general? I think like most little girls, um, I grew up wanting a horse and uh, my my family tells the story that, you know, mom and dad would ask what I wanted for Christmas and every year the same answer was I wanted a horse, but we lived in a very suburban urban area and that was not possible, so I saved up my money and when I was 18 I bought my first horse and had not a clue what I was doing with it, but that really, uh, that did not satisfy the it, so to speak. It, oh. it instead tipped it off. And um, I actually lost that horse to Coggins, which it's like AIDS and a horse, but it's incurable. Oh. Kind of broke my heart for, for quite a while. Um, but that was the first time I'd ever had to put down a, a very healthy um, appearing animal. And um, anyway, so that kind of broke my heart, but it, yeah. it was for a reason. Um, and um, life went forward at that point. I was traveling very heavily for the job I had at the time. And um, I had a, a couple of family tragedies, if you will, or events that, that occurred. And mm. all of a sudden it was like, you know, life's short. And I, that horse That's I right. always wanted in my backyard. I think it's time to do something about that and fortunately my husband went along with me and my husband said Sherry have you ever lived in the country and I said no wow so this is kind of a big kind of yeah it was it was a life, real, life change it was an all all in you know so anyway um, we did that and as most people with horses know uh, buying the horse is just the tip of the iceberg. What, what sparked the idea for a spectacular tag? There, uh, there was really two things. I couldn't find what I wanted. I think that's how many small businesses uh, get started. A friend of mine, she's somebody who always is looking for the, the newest and the most comfortable, the, the best of everything in equine and she's very adventurous in doing that and one day I don't know, probably 15 years ago, we were horse camping and she had this new to me material called Biothane. And uh, she explained it was very comfortable on the animals. And um, what she introduced me to was the very shiny version. Where I was at that time, you know, very traditional. I wanted black or brown and um, kind of boring and classic, I guess. But I understood how cool this material was. So I went out and I actually bought, you know, I was. Um, it was in a different period of my life and I was uh, struggling, you know, as all of us got to start somewhere. And I went out and bought my first used biothane bridle. I still have that. I did not make that, um, but I still no have kidding. that bridle and it still could be used. See if you guys can relate to this. Back when I was riding with leather, I had a fuzzy thing that was ba uh, behind my breast collar ring. And one day the fuzzy thing got wet and dried off to the side. And uh, I was out looking on the internet for something to straighten this all up to protect my horse's chest. And I okay. thought, I thought, wait a minute, it uh, what, what was left to rub on my horse to begin with? So I took that all apart, and through that process, I eventually figured out that by flipping the tail of our product to the outside, trimming it beautifully, stitching it beautifully, there would be nothing left to rub on my my horse. Oh, look at that. And yeah. something that um, is not talked about, in my opinion, enough about biothene. I am a perfectionist by personality, as you know, and I just <laughs> began to, I began to play with different designs and um, uh, a halter bridle because I'm a trail rider. I loved my my halter bridle, but I thought, well, you know, what if the brow bands could be made so they just snapped on and off? Um, what if the stitching could be flipped to the outside um, so it would take the, the biothene strapping that's already so comfortable okay. and improve that further? This is our brow bands and it's the same kind of a philosophy. Um, you can indeed change uh, your brow band out. This is a unique to spectacular closure, at least until someone knocks us off which we hope does not happen, but <laughs> it, um, it can replace and go on to your Western or one of our halter bridles. And with, um, with a bridle, I think you know, but we will show you very quickly. If you wanted to replace this, you could, but it's a little bit of a project, um, so most people don't. With ours, you can remove this on a one-time basis 
and replace it with our changeable brow bands. Mm -hmm. So that then, after, if you are somebody that wants to do that, you can get a black or a brown set of tack from us. Okay. And then you can change a brow band, change the uh, breast collar overlayments, as we call them, yeah. in a snap, and you've got an entirely new look and outfit. And so I just kept having ideas, and I was so uh, fortunate because I would sit around a campfire at horse camps with friends, and um, the girlfriend and, and I would would basically come up with the the new uh, the new mouse trap, if you will, and make a little twist on tr a traditional design of uh, of a product. Um, and we'd bring it over to the horse camp and my, my more experienced friends would say, well, what if you did this? And could you do that? And, um, no that just, kidding. And it would begin to really add. So they would take my ideas that I thought were, you know, genius and my friend's ideas and they would further improve on that. And we also tried it. But in the fall of 2010, um, you know, Every entrepreneur thinks they got it, and then the consumer sure. sets them straight. <laughs> it, isn't that the truth? It, it, it truly is. What was that uh, first? What was that first moment like? I bet it some exhilaration and uh, some nervousness. And... Yes, yes. I uh, loaded up the trailer, and I spent I spent the last bit of uh, funding I had because we sell fun. And I um, put it into the sure. inventory of the products I thought would sell. Okay. And my friend and I met on a on a trail ride down at a, a place many horseback riders know of called Eminence, Missouri. Eminence, sure. Yeah, Eminence is the thing to uh, many of the horseback riders. Anyway, and I I went down there and I convinced a, a smaller camp down there, uh, Coldwater Ranch uh, was the name of it, and ask her if I could set up there while all the writers wrote, wrote in for lunch. You know, I, yes, I hope to sell things, yeah, but I also wanted people to look at what I'd done and say yuck or yay or yay. You know, just tell me you, how it you, was. You, so. you, you want that affirmation yeah. and so, that feedback. Uh, well, and, you know, I wanted to know if I really had something or, you know, how, how and if I should go forward or if I was going to have to go get a real job. And uh, uh -huh. anyway... I was really fortunate. We sold out of inventory. Wow! Um, yeah. On that first trip. Yeah, and uh, you know, it was it was just so re it was so rewarding. You know, you work so hard for something. Right. And not that it was that much inventory, but it was enough that it encouraged me to go forward. And I knew then, um, I knew then that that myself and my friends and everything that that we'd worked hard for might be something that consumer really really wanted. Okay. And we're walking up, and here's the the mobile tax store, if you will. There's Bucky. Bucky, looking Bucky spectacular. Bucky does not eat much. He travels like a gentleman. I tend to go into larger campgrounds. Um, one, I enjoy the heck out of people and the the writing, and many of them offer meals. And but that also gives me the opportunity to work with people, get get their horses fit properly. <laughs> Um, let them look at the whole breadth of the line and you know we horse people like I think any user group um, if you like something you tell your friends and if you don't like it you tell your yeah. friends and yeah. I'm I'm a real gadget girl with anything including my own horse tack but it's it's a lot of fun I always learn something in the horse camps when I when I go out like that um, color trends that that that's important because I'm really in the horse fashion business even sure. though my fashion is very functional for the horse. Um, you know, I, I've, I've learned that some some riders are very uh, fashion orientated and they want a uh, tack that will match their outfits. Some uh, want to match the tones of the horse. Some oh, want to match okay. the saddle pad. Some want to match, you know, it just varies. Um, everybody's got a little different taste. Trail riding is just tough because, again, you've got not only the sweat and the things to do with the horse, but take something as simple as a, a curb chain on a bridle. Um, trail riding is one of the few um, equine sports where that is going to get wet. If you're trail riding, you're going to allow your horse to take drinks in the river. You want to keep your horse hydrated, sure, right? Sure, sure. And so the curb chain, which is leather, unless it's by a theme like ours, um, but the curb chains are often made of either a poly webbing or a leather and rarely stainless steel. So it's like 
the, the worst possible materials to be put into water over and over and over again. It's just a matter of when these these two this combination is going to fail. If there's some trail riders out there, how can they get a hold of Spectacular and get their hands on some of this tech? Oh, I'm uh, I'm very glad you asked. We do have a website. It's a little underwhelming at the moment, but a new one is coming, and that will do a much better job of executing our special orders. Uh, we answer our phone, uh, which is... A real human, <laughs> huh? We, yes. That's great. I really pride myself. <laughs> That's the other thing we haven't really talked about, but I try at all times to treat people like I would want to be treated. Great. And uh, if you're spending good money, then you should get good customer service. And I, I demand that of myself and anybody around me. Um, anyway, and then uh, we also have, uh, we operate well on Facebook Messenger. Okay. Uh, we have customers with regularity that, well, some people want to design and they've got something definitely in mind. You know, I want blue for my horse and others say, hey, and here's a picture of my horse, you know, do you have some ideas for me? And we're always happy to interact uh, in that way. We respond to all messages uh, pretty well 24-7 unless we're sleeping. <laughs>